Hi guys, welcome to my new Let's Play series with a new character and I've been requested for this many times so I thought I would take the leap and give it a go. So <laughs> I've started with nothing except the treasure chest was alive. So I checked that out and amazingly I got 500 chips so that was a really good start to a new character and I decided to get a couple of skills to start off with as I remember it is hard at the beginning without combo skill and also not being able to remove your gems so I checked out the skills for both Cyrus and Issa and decided to buy the gem removal skill for 50 chips as I had 500 and also the lockpick 1 skill so that I could open treasure chests with Cyrus and Issa and that really helps you boost your gold and anything else they might give you and I also got the combo skill for Cyrus because that really helps at the beginning to be able to perform combos to cut down those titans that are quite hard when you have such a low level weapon so we're on to Act 1 and there you can see the beginning of an awakening and the first awakening and there's the uranium golem and I think he's always the first titan that you'll come across and it's worth tapping around the landscape to find any gold bags or potions because they're lying around and if you don't have master looter skill then they don't all pick up in one hit so you have to get them all individually and immediately I managed to score a goal and that really helps too the more goals you can get at the beginning the more chips you'll get and chips can be really handy at the beginning of the game so I had combos so I was able to get through this Titan quicker than the first time I was at level 1 doing this but I hadn't moved my dodge buttons and that caused me a bit of trouble later because <laughs> I'm so used to them in the center of the screen the side dodge buttons but despite that I was still doing okay and I did forget that I'd bought combo skills <laughs> for a little while but luckily I remembered and then I could get through this titan faster and it is hard with this first weapon that they give you because it hardly has any points but combos double your points and if you do a four hit combo then that's two and a half times your attack and if you do a five hit combo then that's three times your attack so the combo straight is just a three hit move and I have got a video on how to perform all combos so check the description under this one for a link to performing combos and I managed to get through without taking any damage so I got another goal and also an item, a ring so that was handy at the beginning and you can see I was able to collect quite a few chips from completing goals so that definitely helps at the start of the game but I do remember that heavy weapon is best at the beginning so I bought a heavy weapon, the herring bone and that had some more attack for me and I also bought the defense gems, the element defense gems because once you're using heavy or light you will need to block the odd move and if you haven't got element defense that can be difficult so we're on to the second titan and I've got my heavy weapon and that really makes a difference because performing combos with a heavy weapon you get twice the attack so I was able to get through this titan fairly quickly for a new character and I was wishing I had a perfect parry stun gem because I did perform many perfect parries and I would have got a lot more breaks but that wasn't in the store and probably won't be for a while because the better gems appear at higher awakenings and also once you've got the gem skills and again I've put a link to that in the description under the video on how to get rare gems so I started to build up to another skill 
as I wanted to have super, particularly for when I met the boss at the end. So I was trying to get super and combos, particularly for that boss. And I was tapping around again, getting the gold bags. And of course that treasure chest that you can't get where you meet Shell. But when you replay Act 1, or when you go back with Issa, then you can open that treasure chest. So it's only the first time that you can't get it. And we're on to the third Titan, and I'm still using my heavy weapon and getting through him really quite well actually for the beginning of the game and it wasn't it was taking me two or three attack rates pretty similar to my high character where the titan obviously is much higher and my attack is much higher on my other slot but it still took me not much difference <laughs> in time to get through the titan because of the high heavy weapon and using combos and so i got a prize wheel and i got a helmet from that so that's going to be handy for when i'm playing with isa in act two and again i was able to get some more chips from completing goals so that was good and seeing as i had so many chips i decided to buy the skill for super so that I could have access to that straight away so I was feeling more confident with super combos and a heavy weapon so it was on to the plated guard and they are very small the titans at this stage they've got no attack elemental attack no elemental defense and no boss perks so they are pretty straightforward to get through and also they move much slower early on in the game they move much faster as you go up in awakenings so for me being used to them at level 10,000 uh, the normal titans are in my other slot these were very easy for me obviously going so slowly and that chest had a medium key so I was able to open the medium chest and get that map of life and that's always there in your first playthrough with a new character and it's the painting right in front of you and if you've done this you'll know you'll get the steel hatchet if you tap that painting so that was good to get a dual weapon and I thought I'd try it out but that was actually quite a mistake <laughs> as you'll see with my next Titan and also I wanted the bonus combo to go with the steel hatchet because I knew it's a straightforward bonus combo it's just right left right at this early stage when you level up the steel hatchet then it adds extra directions unless you've got the bonus combo minus one gems and that removes some of the arrows back but at this early stage it's like having two bonus combo minus one gems equipped because it's only a three hit bonus combo so I was able to perform this bonus combo with the steel hatchet and that gives three times attack when you perform a bonus combo however the weapon itself is so low that even at three times the attack you'll see I made 24 or 32 you can see there 32 for the bonus combo hit however that's still much less than my heavy weapon which uh, with a double combo was 40 something attack so this titan also by this chest is a higher level than the others and so it took a lot longer to get through him because of using the small um, dual weapon but as you may know and when you go up in awakenings then the dual weapon really comes into their own and you actually perform more attack with a dual weapon than any of the other weapon classes but in the early game they're not the best idea <laughs> as you can see from this time it did take me quite a while to get through him but it doesn't matter, I was able to get through him and I don't think I got hit, I can't remember now but uh, it wasn't too hard and he changed his weapon so he became a dual weapon too 
and I'm quite familiar with this Titan and his moves so it wasn't too hard even though it, it took quite a while to get through him. <laughs> it never seemed to end. And I remember that happened to me the first time I played too. This Titan took a long time. But if I'd used heavy weapon that would have been a quicker fight. So that was the last time I used Jewel in this act. And yes, I didn't take any damage. So once again, I was able to get a goal for that and got up to level three because I mastered my helmet and also, and the ring. And I also got an element attack gem. So I was quite pleased with that. That was gonna boost my attack with the element attack gem, particularly as no one seems to have element defense at this point. And I put more attack I put more stat points into my skills I decided to put them into attack so I can get the mega hit at the end of the super and I also bought a new helmet the manganese because I'd mastered my helmet and I had another ring that I'd got as a drop so I didn't have to buy the other ring but I was able to get to that treasure chest and that's why I'd fought that Titan because, you know, early game, the more treasure chests, the better. So that boosted my gold by 8,000. That's a pretty good chest in early game. And so I carried on tapping around the place. And so make sure you tap everywhere because they can be hidden bags. And it was onto the plated Sorok, who we know from IB2 as well as IB3 and I was back to my heavy weapon <laughs> because it is much better attack you can see there it gives me 52 when I do a combo whereas it was 30 something with the dual weapon so that was much less even with bonus combos but this is only early game and as I say later on you'll want to swap to dual weapon because with bonus combo minus one gems equipped we can get a bonus combo every hit and with some of the weapons, the Turian and the Keldru, and that becomes a much higher attack than anything that Heavy can do. But at this stage, Heavy wins for early game. And so I mastered some more equipment and this time I put the stat points into shield because I want to charge my super faster again because I'm getting near the boss so I thought I would need the super for the boss and back to the game so this is the Titan before the boss and I'm tapping right up the top there <laughs> and getting gold bags so it's worth really looking above as well as around you and this Titan is now level 7 Iron Sentinel and again I'm still using that heavy weapon and just swipe twice in the same direction with heavy and you'll have performed the combo and get double your attack so it didn't take me too long to get through this titan and that was a block break and if you perform a combo in a block break it ends the break so really if you get a block break you want to swipe in opposite directions and then you'll get more hits in but if you perform a parry break with heavy, then you can chain combos. You can perform one after the other and get more in, in your attack break. And with that one, I got a gem wheel and also mastered the herringbone. So I continued putting the stat point in the shield to speed up my super and checked out the gem wheel. And you'll see that I got another element attack gem, which again was pretty handy. However, you've got to have the slots at this stage to be able to equip them. So I decided to go for a new weapon that had the right shape. And that was the scalpel. And it's a much higher attack than the herringbone, but also importantly has the square gem slot and that's what I was looking for so I could equip the new element attack gem and now I'm on to the boss finally and he's only level 25 and no element defense or attack which I found surprising 
and no boss perk. So boss perk, I think they come in once you're level 100 and over, if I remember rightly. But I was surprised that he wouldn't have any element defense. So <laughs> that was handy though, because I could equip the highest element attack gem and I was ready for him. And this was where I had a bit of trouble with my side block arrows because they normally for me in the center and I immediately got hit because I tapped the screen just to the left of the center block and there was no block button there so <laughs> I've got to get used to having them right out to the side but what I'll do is move them back to the center you know but anyway you can see that I got through him really fast that element attack gem really made a difference and the combos plus the new weapon, the scalpel. So he was down really quickly, as I say, not much different to my higher level character. So you can get through the game fast even at the early stage. And again, he has a lot of gold and a couple of chests in his room, but you need a large key for one of them but you can still get a fair bit of gold from his room there and more chips and also the infinity cleaver from winning the fight so I found it fun starting a new character I hope you found it fun watching me play and if you do then I'll continue this let's play series and you can see all the acts as I go through them for the first time with the new character slot Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.